Happy Mother's Day. How oh, bueno. With the Canadian whiskey. Some cherry bitters. How the fuck are y'all? Just curious. It's been months and months and months and months and months. Well, not that many, but it's been too long. I've missed you guys. I've been busy. Or not, just uh, lazy, no direction, unmotivated, <laughs> pathetic and sad, indulging, whatever. I hope y'all are good. It's been a weird day. It's been a wonderful day. Uh, family took me out to my favorite brewery, Taxman. I am a Belgian beer whore. Love it. More than I love wine. But it's a very specific breed of beer. Um, so, in general, I'm a wino, except for when it comes to Belgian brews. Um, what have I been doing? Well, today I've been hanging out with Miss. Amazing. I haven't really done anything with dolls in a very, very long time. Uh, I look at them. I shop for them. <laughs> I recently got this um, little silicone avatar baby from... Everlasting Evergreen, something like that. She's on Instagram. Got her from Etsy. Uh, but yeah, just um, surviving, existing, uh, planning. I have been doing a lot more of the scrapbooking journaling realm of things for the last several months. I reconnected with a very, very special friend and it's been wonderful. And that has been a really nice way to be artistic and um, just put shit down on paper easily uh, without any pressure or plan, you just kind of well, you buy stickers, a shit ton of stickers between AliExpress and Timu. Uh, the sticker and ephemera uh, collection <laughs> has become a thing. I must share. Um, this is a new lover. It's a new level of um, the journaling I've been used to. Like in the past, you guys know I did like these junk journals. This was one I made for uh, Betty, my little beautiful Dalmor uh, Dahlia, I think. Um, but, you know, you put all your signatures in it. You, you make your whole thing. But recently it's exploded. So I got this cover. It's a composition sized um, notebook cover from Speckled Fawns. They're more of the rustic. Oh God. More of the rustic style. They just kind of throw shit together and I, I love it. It feels very natural. Not over... There's no... When it comes to speckled fawns, there's not this sense of perfection. There's this sense of just, you just do it. And that's what I appreciate. So with the composition size, I have got some 
very fun composition notebooks and been filling these bitches up and it's been just a really good time um it's been nice to express myself i've cast a few spells that this shit's for real i call this my grimoire every time i cast a little spelly spell it's dear grim and I've been pretty impressed with, uh, I'm not going to say anymore. It's worked. It's worked way better than I ever, ever expected. This one's pretty personal, so I'm not going to get too uh, detailed on what I share with this one. But I have some smaller ones. Um, I have a standard size this was this one was just bought off um i think amazon it was like a it's a deep plummy purple cheap but it doesn't need to be expensive i mean leather is leather yes yeah i'm doing a video you can come in um i'm just heading to faraday's for a bit okay right. honey be careful okay love all you. right love you I don't know thank you um, Ozzy getting so big. He's graduating. I'm so excited. But this one, um, I will share some of this. There's my first page. You can see there's a lot of stickers. There's going to be a lot of washi tape. Um, use of, I have one of these, what are these called? Poolies. So you can print pictures, um, that actually you can print they have um printer paper that's sticker so you can take the stickers off and it makes it a lot easier which is really nice but oh, this is something a little more personal um but it's really fun to just do this kind of it's kind of junky journal, just throwing shit together. And there's this odd sense of satisfaction as you get more and more in there and it gets fuller and fuller. And there's just, it's magical. And it's kind of nice too, because it becomes a great collection space for Things that you collect, ephemera, letters, um, pictures, and for those of us who love stickers, as kids of the 80s, man, I mean, I've never stopped loving stickers. How cute, right? Um, but, you know, everybody has their own style and every, it just depends on you know where you where you are and what you're feeling um and i share a lot of stickers and ephemera with my my friend alita you guys might remember um so it's been a really fun way to express um express yourself this is one i did for mother's day today uh for my mommy um but it's it's very therapeutic and just this really, you know, a lot of times we, I think we overthink, especially when we have a pretty notebook, when we have a pretty leather journal or something, we just don't want to, you know, mess it up or anything. And I think that's, you can't enjoy something like that if you're going to put that kind of pressure on yourself. So it's very important to let that go. I have a few other things I want to show you guys. <clears throat> I bought this beauty not long ago. This is a menage a I bought from a lovely seller on Instagram and she came with this outfit and this wig and she is gorgeous. I call her V. The reason I call her V is she reminds me of V from Shameless. That same kind of beauty. 
And the other reason is because I had already named my other Menage a Neuf Fiona. And this was a wig that came with the um, with V. And so that worked out really nicely. And this beautiful seller was so sweet. I don't know what possessed her to do this, but it was one of the kindest things ever. She threw in <sighs> this amazing creation, which you might recognize. And he is one that I had wanted for a while. And he reminds me very much of David Bowie. I'm sure you can see that. Um, so I don't know if I can get away from calling him David. That's probably going to have to have to happen. Um, I'm trying to think if I've gotten other dolls. It's been so long, I probably have. Let's see. This girl, I'm pretty sure, came since my last video. She is a... You guys know, if you look at her. Oh, Fuku, Fuku, Ruku, Fuku, Fuku, Ruku, Fuku, Ruku, Uh-huh. That's the one. <laughs> she was a little custom made, and these are some things that I put on her. But she came with the little, the little dress. But she is super sweet. Just a lovely, lovely girl. And sits up here with me, my dolls. I think that's such a, a thing that people don't always understand is how, how comforting your dolls can be, even when um, you haven't really done anything with them. Sometimes just because they're in, they're in my bedroom. Thank you, Fred, for allowing that. Um, I get to just look at them and enjoy them whenever. And it's such a comfort because you don't always have the energy to redress them and play with them and do more with them than, than just looking at them. Because they are artwork. They don't always require interaction, but the, you know, you, you feel this pressure to do, to do stuff with them pictures clothing wigs makeup stories you know you feel this pressure but in all honesty they're just really they're a beautiful they're just a beautiful representation of moments in your life that are precious to you mm. i did happen to buy one more um Evangeline Gasly. I don't know if I'll show her today or not. Maybe I'll have a picture of her for the thumbnail of this video, but um, she was a good prize, and I think my mother would have adored her. So I brought her home. I don't remember her name. She's a vinyl, beautiful purple gown. Um... But yeah, I mean, things have been pretty good. I'm trying to think if there's any other big new things you guys might not know about. And I've, I've rearranged a lot. Um, I'm trying not to bring home a, a too, too much. I do have, <laughs> I watched Amy's video and I saw her puppy and I got, <coughs> I got the little lamb. That's from the same collection. It's the, uh, oh gosh, Edward Mobley. And I, I washed this little one up and they have the sleepy eyes, which is cool. Um, but this, these are some sweet little creatures. And if you find them, I mean, they're very, they're just classic collector pieces. They're sweet. Um, and then I also got one that reminded me so heavily of my childhood and I really appreciated, appreciated the artwork. Um, the woman who lived in the shoe who had so many children, she did not know what to do. And I mean, look, 
look at the the sculpting on this. <laughs> and it's and it's still kind of a squeezy, but look. Look at these kids. They're crazy. She's having to get a broom out for them. I mean, hold on to their legs. She's like, what the fuck am I going to do with all these kids? I remember playing with this as a child. I think it was at a babysitter's house. But it just... I like tiny houses. I don't know. We come up with reasons, don't we? We always have a reason why we want to get something. Um... I think that is the majority of the things and there's going to be a lot I've forgotten but uh this whole scrapping thing I have gotten on okay have you guys ever seen one of these before this I use these to store different stickers this one in particular has stamps in it but it's like a sealed paper and it's got magnets and there is something about this material oh the texture the sound <laughs> I go crazy for the soap cutting videos I go wild for the crunching videos with the soap, whether it's got shaving cream or whether it's just crushed. The chalk crushing videos. <sighs> I have even partook a little bit in the hobby of crushing just for me. I'm not taking videos. I will crush up the chalk and I will add water and dye to it and baby powder, whatever, and remold it and crush it again. What is that? Coping? Freakdom? I don't know. I don't know. But I watched this YouTuber, her name is Moment D, and just watching her do her, her journaling, her scrapping, drool, I, I don't know what it is, can any of you explain it? It's good to see you all, I hope you're having a Happy Mother's Day, a happy Sunday, a happy night, a happy whatever. <sighs> it's been too long. Sorry about that. Uh, life. I hope you're all doing well. Um, take care and hopefully won't be as long next time. <laughs>